you like this video, please like, please subscribe. And if you dig stuff like this, check out my book, Tactical Drumming Groove Survival Guide. I'll put a link for it in the description. All right, so let's dig into this thing. This is a super simple groove. It's used all over the place. My How in the heck does this simple groove that I've seen videos for and people are always talking about right, left, bass drum, right, left, bass drum, how do we actually put it in context and basically make it useful? All right, and there's really kind of two primary ways. One is if we're playing rock music, which is what we're gonna focus on in this video, or really a rock or funk or anything with like kind of a straight beat to it, we're gonna be thinking about this either in the idea of triplets or in 16th notes. And I actually wanna start, or with eighth notes, right? I don't wanna start with kind of the eighth note, 16th note concept. So if I'm playing right, left, right, right, left, right, or sorry, right, left, bass, right, left, bass, right? What I have to feel is that in my groove, one and two and three and four and, I am gonna think one and bass, one and bass, boom, 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 and then I'm back into the groove again. With 16 notes, I have to be thinking daka, 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 right? So, so that's the only way it really can go into place, but because it's a triplet pattern, it feels a little bit weird, right? So we gotta feel that pattern and know kind of how that pattern aligns. So if I'm using something like right, left, bass, right, left, bass, I'm gonna mix it up. Maybe I'll play it snare and then in the toms. You'll notice I played it four times and at the end of that four times, I either have to stop or I have to play two eighth notes or I have to play two sixteenth notes. I'll show you all three of those. So if I'm playing that, let's say using this simple pattern of around the toms, I'm gonna go right, left, bass, right, left, bass, right, left, bass, right, left, bass, stop. And then I'm back in the groove, right? The other option would be two eighth notes at the end, two, ready, go, boom, boom, uh, boom. And then I'm into it again, or to complete it with the same rhythm, taka, taka, sixteenth notes. And either one, any of those variations, right, left, bass, right, left, bass, right, left, bass, right, left, bass, right, stop, and groove, right, left, bass, 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 the groove, right, left, bass, right, left, bass, right, left, bass, right, left, bass, da, 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 boom, will all fit. And the way I like to have my students practice this is just to very simply play a bar of rock groove, a bar of this fill. And I'll show you that nice and slow. One, so do, do, got, do. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. And one. Now we're going to play. Here we go. Slower, here we go. One, two, and three, and slow. And one, and three, here we go. And cool. And all you're gonna do with that is just slowly speed it up and then change the variety, right? So you can play it here, mix it up. variation you want as long as you're using that sticking of right left bass drum right left bass drum four of them and then 16 notes at the end the other variation which is a little bit quicker is playing sextuplets right that six notes and playing and now you're going to be feeling again you're going to be feeling this buggy 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 ba right don't even ask me how to count that right but that's basically i'm feeling as one and two and and there's a triplet for each one and when you play that you're actually going to be playing one two three four five six of those patterns and then come out of it with a quarter an eighth note or a sixteenth note to transition back in you could also play more sex tuplets. so what i'm going is i'm going to play it six times right so right left bass right left bass right oh sorry and I'm just gonna speed it up, and I'm feeling my groove. One, two, three, four. And I got food, took it, and groove. Right. So in this case, I'm gonna go on. Right. So or sex at the end. But basically, you're feeling bucket to 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 boom to finish that groove, right? That's our sextuplet feel or triplet kind of vibe. And that's the one that's pretty fun to play around the kit. 
right? As it kind of moves a little quicker, especially with like a regular rock group. So we're gonna do the exact same thing, play a bar of rock, then play a bar of this fill, filling this bugga da bugga da bugga da bugga da bugga. I'll start it on the snare, and then we'll move it around the tongue. So we got two and ready, go. And one, three, here we go. around the toms a little bit so we got two and ready go and move it around the top it up however you want to come into the groove and of course the faster you play that rock groove the faster that's going to go you get the idea right so the point is the more you practice this the better you'll get at it but more importantly how do you put it into the context of the groove and that's pretty much how you do it i'll play it one more time out and then we're done 